We do not. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Hey Fit Fam, it's Coach Rick, and I'm here with Haley and Shadow. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about Haley's journey and how uh, how she came to be. So, uh, you did the six week challenge mm -hmm. and crushed it. So uh, we we're hoping that you would share a little bit of information with the rest of Fit Fam. Talk about your experience. So, if you don't mind, if you could talk about that six week challenge, how did you survive it? How did it go? Um, well, I survived it. It went pretty well. Um, it was the biggest learning curve that I've ever had. I think going through that. Yeah. Um, I learned a lot more than I thought I would. I thought it would be more kind of just laid out and you would just sort of follow it. Mm -hmm. But there was a lot of kind of planning on our own part with the, that meal app. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it did a lot of the things for you, but you still had to kind of reprogram it to your needs. Right, right. Okay, so that meal app basically says, here's things that you can eat, but you had to decide and put them all together, correct? Right. So did you like doing it that way, or did you? would you rather prefer that you're just given exactly what to eat? Um, I liked it better that way, because if there was something that you don't like, you could avoid it. Yeah. You know, whereas when it's all just set out, it's kind of like, okay, well, I don't like broccoli, so yeah. what do I substitute it with? Whereas there were so many different choices that if you didn't like something, you could put it in there, and boom, you'd never see it. Right, right. So I like that. So the food you got dialed in, the workouts, obviously you crush it all the time. Her and her mom work out at Fit Club and it's awesome. They're they're uh, they're true champions, they're super coachable. <laughs> what, what is she doing right now? Uh, she was, Haley was walking shadow around because when they put the saddle on, they puff out their belly because they don't want the, that cinch done up, that strap around their belly. So they walk the horse around for a couple minutes and then they let all the air very hard worker, so I can see exactly why the success would be. So hey, let me ask you one of the questions before you started out working out. What was one of the uh, challenges or one of your frustrations with uh, staying on point with respect to both working out and diet? Definitely the motivation. Um, I was always trying to do all these different things on my own. Like, you know how there's like the ab challenge online and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I was always trying to do those things on my own or I would go for walks and try to, you know, add short jogs in between mm -hmm. and slowly try to build myself up that way. Yeah. But I would do it for a couple weeks or maybe a month and I wouldn't see any results. So yeah. then I would get frustrated and I would just say, forget it because what's the point? I'm not seeing any results. So right. Right. I would just call it quits. So motivation now comes from how, where? Everyone. How are you so motivated? Everyone, you, all the other coaches, the other members. Yeah. It's so fun there that I don't necessarily need motivation now just because I, I enjoy it so much that that's yeah. what I look forward to. So it's almost become a habit. Exactly, yeah. it definitely has. Awesome, and would you say that the Fit Fam truly is really important? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So I want to talk to you about goals. But first of all, I see that shirt that you're wearing. You first, yes. When you first started, you were wearing that shirt. It's about five sizes too big for you right now. <laughs> what do you say you show everybody that brand new sexy body of yours? Can you take this shirt off? Sure. I'll hold on to the horse for you. Oh, nice, look at that. That's what a true athlete looks like right there. Look at the results. <laughs> So Haley, obviously you've hit several of your goals. Looking at you now, we just saw the, the shirt that you used to wear. Let's talk about your future goals. So let's talk about one month from now, let's talk about one year from now. Okay, so in one month, what's what's coming up for the summertime? Um, I definitely want to maintain. I mean, summertime, there's barbecues, there's get-togethers. Mm -hmm. um, so my goal isn't necessarily to lose too much. I mean, obviously I'd like to, mm -hmm. but I'd be happy if I just maintained at least. Yeah. Yeah, great. I think summer. that's I think that's very realistic when it comes down to the summer, right? As long as, long as you're not going backwards, but maintaining. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So let's say in a year from now, but what kind of goals do you got? Um, Big goals, little goals, it doesn't matter. Just share it with everybody. <laughs> um, I definitely want to be able to do more push-ups. Okay. In a year, yeah. um, I just did some today, and I can finally do like five yeah. from my toes, whereas before I could do none. Nice. Um, yeah. so I'd like to build that up to maybe like ten or fifteen yeah. in a year. Yeah. So a push-up, um, just so you know, is actually one of the things on the fitness test. And uh, so if you can master that, you know that you're improving, right? So you said mm -hmm. you just did five of them? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Good. Lower my body fat, increase muscle. Yep. I don't have specific numbers, really, because I don't know what to base it on. Okay. Um, but that's definitely my yeah. goal. Yeah. Before, my goals used to be always like a number weight. Yes. 
and so I kind of have let that go yeah. and I'm focusing more on the body fat percentage and the muscle mass. Good. All right, Haley, let's talk about how much fun you have at uh, Fit Club. And I know you do because you guys are part of the hand club. You got this whole crew of girls. Mm -hmm. You guys are always having a good time. Talk about that a little bit. Tell me why it's important to have your own little crew while you're working out. It is important because that's what helps keep you going. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you're just doing things on your own, like mm -hmm. I had said before, when I was trying to do things on my own, you just don't have the motivation. It's boring. Yeah. You lose momentum. You don't see what you want to see and then you just give up. Right. So we're always there together. We're building each other up. We're pushing each other to go heavier, go faster, jump higher, yeah, all know. that kind of stuff. I love it. Actually, it makes my coaching a lot easier when you have all these micro coaches helping me out with each other. <laughs> So obviously we got a horse between us here. This is Shadow. So Haley, can you tell everybody why it is that you have horses? Um, well, I was always fascinated by them as a little girl, I think as most girls are. Yeah. And uh, I bugged my parents nonstop. And finally my mom gave in and said, fine, if you continue to hit honor roll in school, then you can start going into riding lessons. Okay. So obviously that was a big motivation for me. So I did it. Yeah. And a few years later we got our first horse Libby and now Shadow and nice. that's it was expensive boarding two horses so we figure or my parents figured we may as well put that into a mortgage so we yeah. moved out here yeah nice right. mm -hmm. so can uh, people from Fit Club come here and ride the horses absolutely yeah. some of them already have oh yeah <laughs> yeah nice all right Fit Fam so I'm Coach Rick with Haley and Shadow we're gonna sign off the video but guys I want you to like comment and share it with all your friends and we will see you on the blue I figure that's what living's all about for a horse, right there, eh? Yeah. But then you gotta get back up. Now Haley's gonna clean her again, rush her again. Pretty much. <laughs>